चैप्टर नाइन एंड एस जीसस पास्ट बाय ही सॉ ए मैन व्हिच वाज ब्लाइंड फ्रॉम हिज बर्थ एंड हिज डिसाइपल्स आस्क्ड हिम सेइंग मास्टर हु डिड सिन दिस मैन और हिज पेरेंट्स दैट ही वाज बोर्न ब्लाइंड जीसस आंसर्ड neither had this man sin nor his parents but that the works of god should be made manifest in him i must work the works of him that sent me while it is day the night cometh when no man can work as long as i am in the world i am the light of the world when he had thus spoken he spat on the ground and made a clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay and said unto him go wash in the pool of siloam which is by interpretation sent he went his way therefore and washed and came seeing the neighbors therefore and they which before had seen him that he was blind said is not this he that said and beg some said this is he others said he is like him but he said i am he therefore said they unto him how were thine eyes open he answered and said a man that is called jesus made clay and anointed mine eyes and said unto me go to the pool of siloam and wash and i went and washed and i received sight then said they unto him where is he he said i know not they brought to the pharisees him that aforetime was blind and it was the sabbath day when jesus made the clay and opened his eyes then again the pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight he said unto them he put clay upon mine eyes and i washed and do see therefore said some of the pharisees this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day others said how can a man that is a sinner do such miracles and there was a division among them they say unto the blind man again what sayest thou of him that he hath opened thine eyes he said he is a prophet but the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that had received his sight and they asked them saying is this your son who he say was born blind how then doth he now see his parents answered them and said we know that this is our son and that he was born blind but by what means he now seeth we know not or who hath opened his eyes we know not he is of age ask him he shall speak for himself these words spake his parents because they feared the jews for the jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was christ he should be put out of the synagogue therefore said his parents he is of age ask him then again called they the man that was blind and said unto him give god the prize we know that this man is a sinner he answered and said whether he be a sinner or no i know not one thing i know that whereas i was blind now i see then said they to him again what did he to thee how open he thine eyes he answered them i have told you already and ye did not hear wherefore would he hear it again will he also be his disciples then they reviled him and said 
thou art his disciples but we are moses disciples we know that god spake unto moses as for this fellow we know not from whence he is the man answered and said unto them why herein is a marvelous thing that he know not from whence he is and yet he hath opened mine eyes now we know that god heareth not sinners but if any man be a worshipper of god and doeth his will him he heareth since the world began was it not heard that any man open the eyes of one that was born blind if this man were not of god he could do nothing they answered and said unto him thou wast altogether born in sins and dost thou teach us and they cast him out jesus heard that they had cast him out and when he had found him he said unto him dost thou believe on the son of god he answered and said who is he lord that i might believe on him and jesus said unto him thou hast both seen him and it is he that talketh with thee and he said lord i believe and he worshiped him and jesus said for judgment i am come into this world that they which see not might see and that they which see might be made blind and some of the pharisees which were with him heard these words and said unto him are we blind also jesus said unto them if he were blind he should have no sin but now he say we see therefore your sin remaineth